is it just me or do other people also have to go into Goodreads to remember what books they read when they go to do their wrap up videos? Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing my May wrap up. Just wanted to start out by saying I finally purchased a tripod, hence why the view is a bit different, the angle's different. Lighting is kind of shit because it's about five o'clock in the afternoon and it's going dark and it's stormy and horrible here. It's just windy as hell, hence why I have a scarf. I'm really stoked with how many books I managed to read in the month of May. Like, I think my, uh, my like little book, can't think of the word, but you know what the word is when oh, you, you, you can't do something because it's like stopping you. I can't think of the word right now, but my reading slump. There we go, slump. My reading slump is kind of over and I'm kind of really excited about that. Okay, so the first two books are a part of a series. That is The Red Queen and Glass Sword by Victoria Aveyard. I actually uploaded a book talk on these two books, um, on the series, my review, my thoughts and opinions and everything that has happened in this this series so far. If you're interested in watching that, I will link it down below for you guys. I mean, other than that, I'm not going to say much because I've already spoken about it. If you're debating about picking up this series, I just say go for it and do it. I think it's worth it. If you know, if you definitely agree with my opinions I've had on books and my thoughts and stuff, then I say pick it up. If you don't tend to agree with the stuff I say, probably not a good idea for you to pick this up. <laughs> After I read those two books, I had to pick up The Cruel Crown, which is also by Victoria Avia. Now this is two novellas set in the Red Queen world. So the first one is Queen Song. And I thought it was amazing. I did love her story. I thought it was so interesting and so cool. And then the second novella is, is called Steel Scars. Didn't interest me very much. I'm not interested in that sort of aspect of the world because they're just the humans and it's boring. Okay, so the next book I then picked up was Stars Above by Marissa Meyer. This is basically a Lunar Chronicles collection, so they're basically a bunch of novellas. I was so excited to get this book and pick it up. Like, a couple of stories I've read before, I don't know, I just found it pretty interesting to read about characters before they appeared in the Lunar Chronicles series and then what happened afterwards, and I just absolutely love something old and something new. I laughed the entire way through it. I thought it was brilliant. Love it so much. So then the next book I read in the month of May was A Code of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Mass. I was so excited for this book. I flew through it. Like, I don't know if you can tell. This is really thick. It's like, this book is massive in comparison to the first one and I was so excited to see how thick it was. This is the second book in the a Court of Thorns and Roses series and it continues on the story from where it ended. The ship that I had in the first book kind of died but I was okay with it because I decided I didn't like the mail I was shipping with Feyre. I ship her with someone else now but basically if you hadn't read this book yet and you've read the first one like what the hell are you doing with your life? It was so much better than the first. I loved reading and finding out about what happens to Feyre now that she is um, a fairy. I love seeing her with Ryzand and exploring the night court. That aspect was really, really cool. But yeah, I think it's I think it's amazing. And if you haven't picked up this series, you guys really need to. The next book I, I picked up is the last one in the selection series. And that is The Crown by Kira Cass. The thinnest book in the series. That's not how it should work. The last book should be one of the thickest books in the series because you've got to tie everything up and this book is so tiny. This is probably my least favourite book in the series. I just wasn't surprised by who she ended up picking because it was kind of obvious and set up a lot that you were sort of like, okay, this has got to be, you know, someone in particular. It wasn't the person I wanted her to get with. It was okay. It wasn't that great. I read ahead because it kind of bored me a little bit. So I spoiled myself for who the winner was and was just in denial about it for the rest of the book. I don't feel like it was a good book to end the series with. I mean, it was okay. It wasn't fantastic. I feel like it could have been better. Some aspects were rushed. I don't feel like it was utilized to its full potential. I like Edlin less in this book than I did in the air, because I quite liked her in the air, and in this one I didn't really like her as much. So, after reading The Crown, I then had to pick up Happily Ever After, also by Kira Cass, which is basically a bunch of novellas, and then you've got scenes from Celeste, which I, I quite liked. They weren't vindictive enough for my liking, but honestly, my favourite bit was Where Are They Now? Which is basically, we go back to the Elite, and you find out what happened to the girls after they finished the selection and I don't know, I thought it was really cool. I just, I loved that. I thought it was brilliant. And then the last book I read was Lorelei 
by Laura Dockrell. This book is a mermaid book. It wasn't the mermaid story I was expecting to read and as a result I'm a little bit disappointed by this book in all honesty. It wasn't what I was expecting. Her interpretation of mermaids is like completely different to like my interpretation of them which is fine. I just wasn't really a fan of how they were interpreted. I don't know, I just thought it was like a weird story. Basically the princess of, of the mermaids has decided to surface and there's this whole big ordeal in trying to find her. And the main character is male, which is never really my favourite thing to read about. I just find it harder to connect with them with those stories. And yeah, I don't know, I just, it wasn't the mermaid story I was expecting, so I found a lot of the aspects just weird and I should have gone into this book more open-minded and because it wasn't what I was expecting I kind of shut myself out against this book and just went I don't want to read this I'm not interested in reading this so I was I was a little bit disappointed with this book but once I got over the fact that it wasn't what I was expecting it was okay okay so those are these books that I read in the month of May. I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching I will see you guys in my next video Thanks. Bye.